Taliban spokesman drops a bombshell, a woman must hide faces or lose value. A spokesperson for the Taliban's Ministry of Virtue and Vice, Molvi Mohammed Sadiq uh, Akif, recently claimed that Afghan women should lose their would lose their value if men could see their faces uncovered in public, sparking controversy in debate. Akif argued that many religious scholars agreed with the necessity of women covering their faces outside homes to avoid fitna or falling into sin in Islam. Quote, Allah gives respect to females in hijab and there is value in this, Akif stated. However, this assertion was challenged by Tim Winter, Sheikh Zaid lecturer in Islamic studies at the University of Cambridge, who argued that there is no scriptural mandate for face covering of women in Islam. Winter also criticized the Taliban's level of religious knowledge, noting that Muslim religious scholars who visited Afghanistan during both periods of Taliban rule were underwhelmed by their understanding. Despite this, Akif maintained that the Afghan people supported the Ministry of Virtue and Vice's measures and implementation of Sharia law, insisting that the Taliban added nothing to Islamic rulings issued 1,400 years ago. Additionally, Akif did not provide clear answers on the lifting of bans on women in public life, but claimed that under the current regime, men could no longer stare at or harass women as they did under the previous government, according to him. Well, this is just Taliban Talibaning. I don't know what to say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I want to read the full quote where he talks about um, the... Uh, the covering of the face and the losing of value because it's pretty, oh my God. Okay, let's, let us read the full quote. <clears throat> okay, quote. It is very bad to see women without the hijab in some areas, meaning big cities, and our scholars also agree that women's faces should be hidden, Akif said. Quote, it is not that her face will be harmed or damaged. A woman has her own value and that value decreases by men looking at her. Oh, Allah gives respect it. to females in hijab, and there is value in this. Okay, so how is it that a woman's value decreases by men looking at it, but a man's value doesn't decrease by a woman looking at it? Why? What's the rationale behind that? Uh, because men aren't sexy. Yeah, exactly. So basically, that, that that's the point that I'm trying to get at. When women's this is this is to say that women's value comes from them being sex objects. That's the whole point. When you say women's value decreases as more men look at her, that means women are women's values are comes only from their ability to provide you with sex, and it's kind of like a product that the more you use it, including looking at it, the more you know the less value it's going to have. It's kind of like a car. You know, this is basically the object of objectification. It's funny because they say that Western uh, or liberal values objectifies women, but they are literally saying this is a product that has a certain value and the more you use it, the less value it will have, like a car, like a like an object. And literally so like an funny object. Because like the analogies that Muslims use and even conservative figures in the West to talk about women's modesty, they use analogies that are directly comparing women to objects. Like, yeah. it could, oh. like literally. So what you hear a lot of these like red pill or conservative guys and Andrew Tate and some manosphere people talking about is, yeah, one example they give is a car. It's like, you want a new car. You don't want a car with a lot of mileage on it that's worn down that has baggage and all this stuff. So I'm like, you're directly comparing a potential partner to a product that you buy <laughs> directly. They couldn't be more obvious about it. Right. Cause it's really funny. A lot of times when people talk about, or um, I guess like more left-leaning or progressive types, when they talk about objectification of women and all this stuff, um, maybe in a, sexual context or in the context of um maybe um uh adult work like being a stripper or something they talk about the objectification of women or um maybe just a way in which a woman is viewed or talked about 
say if she posts like a sexy pic on Instagram and how people treat her or something. A lot of times I don't fully understand what they're talking about, right? But when it comes to situations like this, it I'm like, oh, this is the like dead ass 100% objectification. It couldn't be more explicit. That's literally what it is. Um, so I think it's kind of important to, I don't know, bring people back down to discuss some of the worst and most direct examples of it, right? Because of, I guess, in popular culture in the West, um, people are so, pe some people are so exhausted by feminists, like, constantly finger pointing over, you know, what they see as objectification to the point that it loses its value. It's stuff like this right. that reminds us of what that truly means. Am I making right. sense? Yes. Yeah, very much so. Okay. Um, D is saying D has some comments uh, comments highlighted for us. So this one is saying is responding to this, saying from here it looks like an admission that men cannot control themselves. That's true. one comment. Another comment is or true, vice versa. True, but men... That's what that comment means. I'm not saying that men can't control themselves because it's actually yes, yes, this yes. belief is actually very sexist against men. Yeah, this is not just anti-woman. This is anti-men. Like, oh my God, we cannot. Uh, like saying that if women don't cover up, men are going to R A P E is some um, is very anti-male. Like, actually, you're right. Yeah, it's pretty. Um, we discuss. Yeah, and this person is saying, or vice versa, men lose their value when they see a pretty woman to make an ass of themselves. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny i like that <laughs> no okay and well, here's another comment saying i suspect that it that it isn't the women that are the problem here just a hunch well okay huh. let's not um yeah i mean it's, there are some men which are the taliban let's not just talk about all men i don't appreciate um i mean i agree with this though like this is like taliban it's the taliban not all men not all men. I my my fellow men. I'm here to protect this. I mean, my kings. Male. I'm here to protect your my honor. <laughs> yeah. you know, what that person is getting at, though, is that the behavior right. that they're trying to prohibit is actually behavior that men are responsible for, right? Right. Like the burden right. of preventing okay. that behavior is thrust upon women in a very inhuman and high control way. That's what that comment is getting right. at. Right. So <laughs> like, comment... Step aside, kings. Let me protect you. <laughs> this comment saying Islam recognizes right of both men and women. <laughs> what? Uh, to the freedom, uh, to the freedom, equality without acknowledging the superiority of color, geographical boundaries, religious beliefs, social norms, and ritual practices, and also being harmless to other individuals of the society. I don't. This sounds like a joke. This person uh, is trying to be like, this is yeah. universalizing, and this is all about love, and men and women do have mm. equality under Islam. It's like, okay. Yeah, okay. It, well, okay, Islam, well you even if that's obviously... true, what about equality between Muslims and non-Muslims? Because <laughs> <laughs> let me tell well, you, that is not, not true. It's not going to be a pretty picture. Yeah, yeah. I mean, dear sir or madam or Iram, read the read the Quran because you're absolutely wrong about that. So here's another comment saying, "Why do we concern concern ourselves with this unless those beliefs are being demonstrated in Canada?" Oh, so this is a person. Droopy doesn't seem to care about her, his fellow human beings, which is, I mean, he's a dog. That would make sense. Um, <laughs> also, so <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me let me let me share something with you so talking about comparing women to objects this is not a taliban thing this is an islam thing this is not just a uniquely taliban thing okay so here's a verse from the quran surah Baqarah, ayah 223 so chapter 2 verses 223 says the quran says your wives are your fields this literally starts this ayah starts this Quran verse starts with objectif objectification of women, right? So, and it continues. So go into them, go into your fields, whichever way you like, and send something good ahead for yourselves. So yeah, be mindful of God. Remember that you will meet Him, Prophet 
uh, prophet, give, get, give good news to the believers. So basically, this is about a good news to the believers that you could, given that your wives are like your fields, you could go into your fields in from any direction that you like. Um, a lot of uh, commentary on this verse uh, says that this is about anal or like going in Wait. from the... <laughs> Right. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. <laughs> I needed to start over. What? <laughs> right. No, this is a verse about like well either so there's 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 a lot of there's a lot of debate regarding this verse. Some people that are saying hit me that... like a slap across the face. What does this have to do with April? <laughs> well, it's saying so the question was like can we go in like people were wondering if all forms of sex are allowed and the Quranic verse is like, yes, these women are your fields. Like, do you, you could go into your fields from whatever direction that you like. So you could go into your wives from whatever direction that you like. That's the point of this verse. <laughs> but, but actually there's disagreements over this. Some people are saying like, no, it's not necessarily anal. It, it means sex from behind, but, but from behind, not into the butthole from behind into the into the vagina. Okay, so people are saying, is this about sex from both directions, but vaginal sex? Or some people are saying, like, no, this is about anal versus like so. But anyways, the Quran is saying, the Quran is saying, go where, go into them from wherever you like. No, this is genuine commentary on this verse. Like, I'm not joking. <laughs> this is in the text here. Yeah, talking about yes. anal. Are you serious? Yeah. Well, there's a disagreement if it's anal or just sex from behind that is not anal. But I would argue that the Quran is saying from any direction. So I don't know why, how it could not be anal. Oh, so the some people are saying this cannot be anal because it's comparing women to fields and you, you throw your seeds on the field for it to bear, you know, products like babies. Like, obviously, it's both vaginal, vaginal sex, whether from if it's from in front or behind, because if it's in if it's anal, then it cannot be compared to a field because you throw your seeds in a field in a way for it to come something comes out of it. Yeah. <laughs> right. So anal doesn't get a woman pregnant. So that's some people are saying, like, no, this does not allow anal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Counter argument. Yeah. Anal doesn't get you pregnant. Yeah, oh is, that's exactly what I said. Yeah, exactly. So it has to get you. So people are saying, no, no, anal is not allowed because anal does not get you pregnant and the women are being compared to fields here. So it has to get you pregnant. Yo. To, for it to be on. Yeah. Yo. Yes, 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 yes. But anyways, um, you know, there, there's a, there's there, you know, something <laughs> about. <laughs> I'm saying Islamic Kama Sutra is insane. <laughs> 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 yeah so I, I do have to remind uh, you that um, there's something you know there's something that we all know about fields do you know what that is Susie oh my god go ahead what do you what do you not require to go into your field uh, consent from your wife consent from your field okay so when it when when you own a field and you go into your field you never ask your field like is it okay can i go inside you and you don't ask your field can i is it okay if i come from this direction or that direction it's your field you are you do not require consent from a field so that is the problem with objectifying women in quran like that because basically the lack of need for consent right you just go into them wherever whenever wherever you like in you whatever way you like front, you plow from the you, back. you plow exactly you plow yeah exactly <laughs> okay all right that was oh my that god. was that yeah. oh my god <laughs> so... oh my god oh we oh. have a lot of comments that we highlighted and um um, we are super chats. You choose which one of the ones that we start to read. 
So it's up to you. So you. Oh yeah, we got a lot of super chats. Okay, well, um, uh, Zaid is saying that about about that verse you were just reading. He said the story is that a woman from Medina refused sex from behind because they believe that sex from behind Mm -hmm. makes you give birth to a, um, I will say, developmentally delayed baby. But no, you can say that on YouTube. Yeah, okay, go on. Okay. Uh, but Croatian yeah. men who married Medina woman wanted doggy style. See, I told you, this is about doggy. This is a verse about doggy style. We have a Quranic verse about doing it the doggy, doing the doggy. That's the Quranic. We this is the this is the direct word of Allah telling people if doggy is allowed and saying it's saying yes. It, that's the more did you, you, know. did you The more you know, yeah. This you is know what? Long. I love this show because I never know what I'm gonna learn. <laughs> 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 Guys, please make sure to like the stream if you also sure. learned something today because that yes, that really took it out of me. Um, right. uh, the uncreated Mary- the uh, wait wait wait. So basically, the uncreated, timeless word of Allah that is beyond time and space that have existed with. M- ma- with time and matter from the beginning and always is the only other entity the only entity other than Allah himself that has never been created that always was and always will be is telling you that you could do the doggy that you could do the yeah, yeah the doggy is allowed that's what the verse that's what God's words is about right so this is this is how you should how seriously you should take Islam but yeah the luminary is saying you two are so wholesome. I just like that. I thought that was sweet. Um, no, thank you. Uh, and let's go through some of the super chats now. Uh, okay. Wait, this is random, but I thought this was hilarious because the person in our user chat who goes by the name Blessed Be He, who has been preaching at us about Jesus this the whole time, suddenly during this new segment decided to just share with us, my husband loves looking at my face during sex. I guess I turned him off. So I love that oh, wow. someone who was preaching at us this whole time suddenly started sharing us details from her bedroom. I love it. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for sharing that. That's beautiful. Thank you. Okay. Blessed. Okay, oh, I, I thought blessed. Oh, blessed be he. Is that about her, your husband or no, Jesus? It's about Jesus. I think, oh, Jesus. Okay. Well, okay. All right. You enjoy that. Darko was saying, well, thank God, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, wow. So let's go through some of these super chats. Newman is saying, <laughs> Armin, act your age, boomer. <laughs> no, I refuse. <laughs> Make me. Oh. Thank you, though. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> um okay. And reincarnation entertainment gave us a super chat saying, see Armin disapprove with certainty in this video, quote, the ultimate proof that God is not real on his secular jihadists YouTube channel. So reincarnation yes. entertainment used a super chat to promote your other work, Armin. That's so nice. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yeah, go guys, search for that uh you- video and it will sh- 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 show up yeah, uh, yeah we have proven super chat that there's in no today's God. live stream titled sex ed from an islamic pov that should be the right. title we should go back and change it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um and um trails thank you for the super chat trails saying it cannot be doggy because dogs are haram in islam <laughs> <laughs> yeah what we should change the name I don't know if right. there's a, a, a more halal name for the position. Um, Field sex. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and we have two super chats from Sid Dave that are a little... Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Dave, Wait. What? We got a super what? chat from Newmont that just said, I will make you listen to daddy. <laughs> hey, yo. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Thank hey, you. Hey, hey yo. Oh, wow. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> um, Sid Dave, thank you for the $5 super chat. Saying, should the West allow immigration from nations that are not democracies and criminalize LGBT? Is that a good filter to make sure you get good immigrants? 
Well, I don't think it should be based on nation. It should be based on individuals, right? Because nations that do, are not democracies, yeah. So nations that are not democracies and criminalize LGBT have a lot of people who are not anti-LGBT. In fact, you want to accept immigration for them a lot because you are, they are criminalizing LGBT. And there's a lot of LGBT people that live there. So maybe no, maybe actually you do want to accept immigration from them because they need to get the hell out of there. So, yeah, I think this filter should be based on individual values rather than that entire country's specific values. I mean, and, and think about it this way, like how many people that like just even within our own community are from countries right. with a lot of really terrible anti-human legislation and they want to yes. leave their country specifically because they value liberal ideals. Yes. They should have I think the Sid just wants to... to do so. And it's actually right. how many people from these countries leave because they hate these kinds of laws, because they 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 want something different. They want a better life for themselves. I mean, I have so many friends that personally literally made that decision. Well, I mean, I wouldn't be able to become a Canadian if Sid was in charge. <laughs> right. So Sid, what the, what are you trying to tell me? Are you are you are you not uh, are you trying to get rid of me? Is that what you're trying to do? Because I come from a country that criminalizes LGBT and now I'm a Canadian. So I'm glad that you were, you were not the decision maker in Canada. And, so and, and look at the work <laughs> that you were able to do because you yeah. left and you have free expression that is protected. Look at what you've been able right. to do and what the people you've been able to yeah. influence from that still live in your home country. You know, like it's right. very simplistic way of looking at an issue and i'm not saying that it's not an issue it is complicated um right, right. but yeah, yeah we shouldn't be so prescriptive um so dave also gave another super chat saying uh who is worse uh adolf i will call him or uh, adolf h yeah adolf h or genghis khan genghis khan is credited for a lot of Positive things. Do you think uh -huh. with the passage of time what? it may happen to Adolf H? Well, that wait. What positive? What positive things? What the hell are, are you talking about? Okay, so um, I've, depends. If you want to compare these two, I will just give a short answer. It depends on how you measure. If you're just uh, doing body count, then Chinggis Khan is worse. But if you are talking about spreading a harmful ideology that is still harming people after someone's immediate effect, then Adolf H is work. Because Chinggis Khan did not leave an ideology that was continued to harm people after his death. He just came in like a like a giant tornado and just killed like yeah, he was he he killed a lot more people. A lot more people. But again, after he was gone, then his then he was his there was no ideology left behind that was spreading hate. The other person left an ideology behind that continued to spread hate around the world. So depends how you measure it. Yeah. Um yeah, and then oh, we have a last super chat. Oh, Engagian American is commenting on that super chat saying the Yahtzees gave us V2 rockets that took us to the moon. I guess as an example. Well, no, 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 Okay, so that's not, that's not, that's not, that's not how it works, okay? Okay, so um, what you have to, if you are claiming that they gave us that, you have to demonstrate that if history went a different route, we would not, we would have not gotten that, you know what I mean? So you cannot demonstrate that. I would argue that we would have still accomplished all of these things without them, and maybe even sooner because of all, all the, um, because of all, we will be more productive without war. Okay, so the things that we get through war, uh, you cannot show us that only we would have gotten them only through war. I would say that with less destruction, we would get technology even faster. Right. So there's that. Um, okay. Last super chat. Thank you so much from Selva. Uh, Selva Kumar gave a super chat saying, "Armin, since anything is allowed according to this verse, is pegging haram." Pegging. Well, e wait, is pegging like a strap on? For it's it's when men e get the get, yes. get the strap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, of course, because it's telling you could enter to your into your woman whichever you want. It doesn't work the other way around. Like, of course, it's haram. 
What are you even asking me, you dirty, dirty, filthy person? Let's take that haram crap out of here. Like, no, yeah, you can't do that. Obviously not. No, that is not. That is not. Yeah, this is telling men that they could enter their woman from whatever way they want. Right. Oh, we got another super. But thank you, thank you for the question. Thank you for Sh Sheikh Armin or Ayatollah Armin, whether you're a Mufti Armin or Ayatollah. If you are a, from a Sunni background, then I am your Mufti Armin. If you come from a Shia background, then I'm an Ayatollah Armin, and I'm here to answer all your Islamic questions. Okay. Armin is uh, Who is your <laughs> 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 All right. A last... Very very deep cut right. Shia drama. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right. So, Gaijin American uh, with the last super chat. Thank you so much for the guys. Thank you so much for all these super chats today. We we, we oh my god, we got, we just got another one as well. Gaijin oh American saying, American school system uh, promoted Han trade and connections. Do you understand what this is? I, don't I guess he's saying right. that in America, the school system promotes the idea that a positive thing the Genghis Khan did was promote trade and these the different routes like building those out honestly i don't know oh, no, no, no. like pretty much anything about him in school again 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 we have their history is not like a lab test that we could do a b analysis like there is um if if there was him not around we will still have these things happening i would say because of the all the less destruction and all the wealth uh, destruction of all the wealth, we would have these things happening sooner just because people who destroyed a lot of things also built some things. That doesn't mean these those things would have not have been built if they were not around. In fact, I would say there would be more of these things without all that all of that destruction and loss of wealth, right? Um, so that's my opinion. Well, okay, last super chat. Gage when, oh. insane. when controlled yeah, vibrators technically <laughs> Gaijin, you are insane. <laughs> what is that? Okay. <laughs> okay, let me finish the sentence. Wind control vibrators technically means that God permitted my orgasm. <laughs> well, is that a thing? Wind controlled uh, vibrators? No. Because that would be... no. Okay, no. Okay. I mean, I'm sure someone should... could could make one. Somebody should make. Should I unstar all the other ones because we need to move on, right? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Well, okay. Christine okay. is saying that Suzanne is itchy and it got really intense during that chat. Okay, no, I'm not itchy. I just my neck is very sore. For the record. Oh, okay. Oh, we got another super chat. Oh, thank you, said Dave. Um, you. he's saying Mongols were poised to conquer Europe and beat all European armies. They introduced gunpowder, a tech, a technology which eventually resulted in European empires. Yeah. A again, these the, all of these could have gone a, a better way, a worse way, or the same way with or without the Mongols. We will never be able to know, right? All we know is destruction and mass murder and genocide tend not to be a good thing. So even if these people did the good did a good thing, we would still have those good things without the genocide and you know, destruction and burning of books, probably more of them. The Mongols burned a whole bunch of books and destroyed a whole bunch of like centers of learning. All of this other stuff that they did would have still been there without, without them, without the, all the destruction. Oh, we got guys. Wow. I think look at all the super chats. Okay. So you want to read this one? Thank you so much for incarnation entertainment. Yeah, Reincarnation Entertainment is saying, Susanna, do you know you can disprove Islam? Are you a Gnostic atheist or are you an agnostic, agnostic atheist on Islam? Agnostic. You think it's unlikely. Um, so basically, based on my understanding of Islam, basically all Abrahamic faiths, I believe that the construction and definition of God is contradictory. Mm. So it doesn't make sense in its own internal definition and internal logic. I I believe that it contradicts itself. And um, so I don't think it exists. And it, with the Abrahamic faiths in general, they all take a very similar structure. There are differences, um, of course, and there's also differences in sex and stuff. But right. kind of you can cross out all of them. Um, okay. So Gnostic atheist, you're a Gnostic atheist towards the Islamic God. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. 
Um, Abraham as a whole. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, we got a, a thank you so much, Shikha, for the super chat. I don't understand the super chat, but Shikha is saying, I think AR lacks female representation in this organization. I mean, I mean, one of us here is a, is female, I think. I mean, last time mm-hmm. I checked, mm-hmm. Su- Susie, mm-hmm. have you had? Okay, so I don't know. I don't understand. I mean, our CEO is female. So what do we like? What What do you? What, 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 what? I don't understand this. Can you explain? Literally on all the paperwork, it's me. Yeah. I I ha- have more legal control over this organization than Armin does now. <laughs> yeah, and we have D. <laughs> What is this? Uh, I don't, is this a joke? I don't understand. Yeah. D. Soha, Jonathan, uh, Susie, D, Joanna. The major leader in this organization. We have tons of women that lead our org, especially on Facebook, where we have a part of the largest part of our organization. We just, and I think people need yeah. to be aware that we have a lot of people that volunteer and do important work for this organization, but they don't want to be public. Sometimes I offer it to them. I offer them to be more prominent. And they're like, no, I'm comfortable where I am. This is how I want to be. So. Okay. So Shikha is saying there are more men here than women. I feel unsafe. Well, what? So that seems like a you problem rather than the other people here problem. First of all, you... What what are these men like? Why are you feeling unsafe? This is you're on the live chat. What are what is it going to happen to you? Also, why are men? Why are you holding men respons- responsible for this? Is anti? This is very. Oh, she has a bunch of anti male stuff. It's really weird. <laughs> yeah, how how dare you? You know, men are not like our uh, men are not like that. You, this is like you're painting. Uh, men with a brush as if like just because there are men around you're going to be you're going to be unsafe like that is that is insulting towards men 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 are not like that especially our men who are here in our live chat they're good okay so yeah we don't in fact in fact i think men should feel inside uh, unsafe in front of you because you're insulting them you know I, my dear during our live chat yeah. i have not seen people say anti-female comments very rarely are people openly misogynistic in our live chat and we shut right. them down when they are we shut the but yeah if we see misogyny openly misandristic <laughs> yeah yeah this is very anti anti male this is not not fair and i think like we dear men of atheist republic we are trying to provide you a safe environment from sexism against men so if women are insulting you and making you feel like you are unwelcomed just because you are a man and you are going to be threatening women just because you happen to be a man don't worry this is a male friendly live chat that we hear and we will protect you against this level of hostility okay so don't dear men don't feel unsafe in our live chat is that and bless <laughs> BP, i'm putting you in time out because you said something racist against arab men i don't tolerate oh. that I'm put so I gave you you you're now in timeout and I'm putting you on notice. I'm not going to tolerate that a second time. Right, um, right, right. And also, and also, if me, okay, I, let me. Can I be yeah, honest about you? Yeah, I, if you're going to be in atheist spaces, you're going to have to be accustomed to being around mostly men, because statistically, openly atheist and self-identified atheist spaces statistically are mostly men. It's just a fact. We can encourage more women to be openly atheist. We can encourage more women to be in openly atheist spaces. But the current fact of the matter is all the analytics show, not only within the analytics of our channel, of our community, but of the population broadly, it is mostly men. So I understand how sometimes you're like, oh, I feel a little out of place because there aren't as many women here. That's just the fact of the matter. I accepted that a long time ago. (laughs) A long time ago. I can't, I mean, mean, here's the thing. I want to say that, well, a lot of that responsibility is on women to come to these spaces, right? But that is not fair because I also do understand that online spaces um, where these kind of discussions are are often made is is often hostile towards women and women feel scared to enter these environments, okay? But we don't have that in our live chat. Because we shut that any anybody who is like misogynistic, we shut that we shut that uh, shut that down immediately. So it is now in our environment. It is up to it. It is 
it is the responsibility of women to make themselves present in these kind of spaces. Like we, I know we have some responsibility to make sure that they don't feel intimidated when they, when they're here. But after a certain point, then it's on you to show up rather than us doing all the work. Like your women are not children. We don't have to pick them up. You know, we can make sure that it's not unfair to them, the environment, but after a certain point, they are, if they're not present, it's their fault. It's the, it's their fault that they're not present. Not all our fault. It's not, not everything is our fault here. Right. Yeah. But um, you laid the groundwork. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And, mm. and it, 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 it also doesn't help to make spaces more female friendly. If some women act like they are anti men. Right. So this just increases gender hostility. Like we want to make gender irrelevant. So increasing the tension between men and women just makes men more anti-women and more women anti-men, which makes them want to not spend time with each other and go to different. So that's not going to be helpful at all. Right. Anyways, we spent too much time talking about this. Yeah. No, I think it's important to talk about. Yeah. Mm, yeah. So yeah, she is saying I'm not anti men. Yeah, I that's I that's good. Just know that talking about men that way might make come across as, as being anti men, even if you're not trying to intentionally be anti men. Like acting like oh, being around men, even online, like on a live chat, on a live chat that we shut down misogyny, that you feel that you still feel unsafe in that environment. A lot of people might think that like you think men are inherently um, evil or inherently intimidating, which is kind of unfair, you know. So, in my opinion, right. Um, Anyways, and she apologized. Thank you, Shika. Ah, no, I mean, I was exaggerating. I don't think like I mean, if somebody's feelings is of uh, hurt over that, like that's like that's also kind of pathetic. But, but yeah, I was just making a joke just to show. That doesn't make any sense. But don't. But thank you. I appreciate you being self-critical. That's very nice. Well, we made our position clear, okay. and that's what we yeah. can do. Oh, okay. So yeah. Okay. So like, let's also be f fair to Shikha. Shikha said, "I'm only 18 years old. Try to understand that." Okay, Shikha. I have to apologize if I came across as too hostile towards your position. Um, you know, y you are you are more ahead than me okay if you are a person who's listening and is like reconsidering your position based on what you're hearing uh, at 18 that is uh, that is pretty impressive okay so given you know if i came out as too hostile against your position i hope i didn't upset you okay so but th i think this was a productive uh, back and forth i've i've yeah. also have to learn not to be this hostile with somebody when i see somebody have a take that i don't like I don't okay i should i should i should okay i wasn't yeah. okay I'm, I'm i'm okay if i if i shikha if i did if i did come across as too angry or hostile i hope i apologize well you oh, also get don't another... have to treat her you know with yeah. kid gloves because she's a young woman that would also be infantilizing so Yes, yes, yes. So, see, uh, thing, new you know, I understand that girl, like, in I, your lifetime, yeah. you might have had some like really negative experiences with men. But I think what is important to focus on as young women is actually how we are overwhelmingly having positive interactions with men every day. Because what I genuinely right. think about is the fact that my safety is only guaranteed by the good behavior of the men around me. Because I'm so I'm so small. Right. Like I, I'm like right. on my own accord, I'm defenseless. <laughs> so I am protected right. every day by the good behavior of the men around me. That's a really positive interaction. I'm, yeah. And, and I completely understand why, even if men around you are not hostile, it's kind of intimate. It's very intimidating to know that if you are, they could physically overpower you, power you at any moment. But I mean, not in a live chat, but in the, in the offline world, just, I, I can't imagine how scary that would be if I know that half of the pop, half of the people that I meet outside of my house could just basic, basically physically force them, you know, manhandle me at any time they want. Like that is that is scary. I accept that 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 is that sounds pretty scary. So I I can I, I understand that. Okay, so um, oh, we got another super chat and thank you so much. Tamokna Mitra is saying, I'm, I'm sorry, Shikha, you feel like this. Do not worry. I am pretty sure this space is full of male feminists. Right. I mean, you, I mean, yeah. Okay. So 
Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Like Tom Tom yeah. Let's be, yeah. this is a dumb comment saying you timed me out for being against Wahhabi fundamentalism. Wow. You said mm. you don't trust Arab men. You're equating Arab men with Wahhabi fundamentalism. I don't tolerate yeah. that. That's racist. <laughs> Yeah, you're racist, blessed be he. And this, this is not and, chat right now is filled with <laughs> Arab men. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have, yeah, that's an, um, uh, the fact that that actually confirms the more that you're a racist because you're equating being Arab with Wahhabis. So, there we go. Yeah. Um, um all right. Can we and I put for the else in time out for saying some racist stuff against Indians? So, you are also yeah. on notice. Oh, Putting yeah, them and also on notice. Yeah, <laughs> and for the well. sake of people, and for the sake of people like Shikha to for, feel welcome here, we will also shut down misogyny like that, right? So if anybody here is uh, has any behavior that seems like they're not, they're anti, you know, the misogynistic, we will take care of that as well. So don't worry. If you see a lot of men here, that doesn't mean that there's a lot of misogyny here because we shut that down. Do you know who makes the most amazing, gorgeous, and other adjectives that I can't use here on YouTube blasphemous art ever? We do. And for some reason, we are giving it away for free. Download them now using the link in the description before we change our mind.